Hey, what's up, guys? Matthew Magic One here, and as you can probably tell by the title of the video, um, I'm gonna be showing you how to live stream to Twitch.tv. Alright, so you're gonna have to download something called XPlay Broadcaster. So what you do? Open up your web browser, whichever one you use. Waiting for mine to open up. Alright, you go to X Split dot com I will leave the link in the description or you can just google search X split but I'll leave the link in the description if you're too lazy um <laughs> loading come on load oops nope X split dot com right there we go X dot com um, scroll down, register, choose this, um, do all that stuff, register, join now, um, it's free to join, and then download XSplit, so, whoa, glitch, download XSplit, download latest version, after you have that, open up XSplit, <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, depending on how fast your computer is, it'll depend on how fast it opens. So, yeah. Now, the first thing that's gonna pop up will be like, um, you'll see it pop up real quick, like right here. Log on, I have it set to log me in automatically. Your color scheme might change, mine does every time. Um, you'll be using the free trial, the free trial never expires. expires. Just wait till you can click it. Click continue. Now you're gonna have to log in with your XSplit account. Once you do that, you have to set it up. So you go to broadcast and you go to edit channels. You won't have the um. Let me remove this. Apply. Okay. When you go to broadcast, you only have this. So you gotta go to add channels. Click add. Now with this, you could live stream to Justin TV. Um, to Twitch TV. Um, slash justin.tv live stream own 3d.tv and you stream so you can live stream to these three or a custom one that you have but you could live stream to these um if you want to live stream to you stream same thing just type in your username password all that stuff um so you're gonna want to add the one you want i want to live stream to twitch.tv type in your username matthew magic one and type in your password. Oop, I didn't type in the W. Matthew Magic One. No, W. There we go, just like that. Um and after that just click OK. Um apply. And then click OK. And then that you're pretty much set after that. Um make sure you um if you're using a mic or if you have a built in mic, make sure that this is doesn't have the line through it. Um if this is so that they can hear what you're hearing. So like you see how this bar is underneath there. If you pay attention to the bar right next to it, you see how it went up a little bit? And did that stuff. Yeah, that's so you can mute this so that they don't hear what you hear. Or mute your mic so that they only hear that. But yeah, and then um after that you have these you have all these twelve scenes that you can use. So what I do when I live stream, I make sure I make a stream that says live stream will start soon. Um, one that has my YouTube channel, my YouTube picture, Minecraft time because I live stream Minecraft, my website, subscribe. Um, let's move this over. Um, and I have always one with that I'll end with. Thanks for watching. Now the way you add this is, like for example, um, when you're adding titles, just go to add and click title. Type in what you want. Change the color. And then when you're done, you, you're going to have to adjust this how you want it. You're going to want to do all that so it looks good and it, it, it's in frame. Um, next thing, um, I make all these um, extra titles just so I can put them up whenever I want. Now, let's say you want to live stream to Minecraft. Um, you're going to want to open up the game you want to live stream. Example, I'm going to live stream Minecraft. I already have one set up here, so let me go ahead and remove this what you're gonna do is when once it opens up threat has been detected there is no threat here 
um, I put this to the side and I put this over here so that way they're separate um, you're gonna want to click add and then click screen region now with this follow it until you have like that and then click and then you're gonna want to adjust adjust this like this like just adjust it by the line you're gonna have to move it over and then adjust it all the way so that way it comes out in full screen mode like that um and basically after that you're done if you wanna know for sure that your live stream is up um open up your web browser um i have these titles like youtube and like um thanks for watching i put thanks for watching at the end and like um if you've seen my live stream you'd know um i put like live stream start soon because i'll start the live stream a couple minutes before um so yeah <laughs> And then I put that one so that way I can check on the live stream when people are chatting with me. Um, answer questions, all that stuff. Or whenever I need to search something up for the live stream. Anyways, if you want to know for sure that your live stream is up, go to twitch.tv.com. Well, no, twitch.tv, not twitch.tv.com. Um, go to your channel. If it loads. Now, the first thing that pops up in your channel, it'll be your picture and it'll say offline because you're not broadcasting yet um an xsplit it's pretty simple to use um you could probably figure um um like once you know how to live stream to it like live stream you probably can figure out like the rest adding titles and all that stuff adding different stuff um there's tons of tutorials out there um but this mainly for live streaming to teach you how to live stream now if this would load alright if you go to your channel oh my gosh Sorry, it's taking so long. I'm gonna pause it here, and when I come, okay, now it's loading. Never mind, don't have to pause it. All right, so go to when you go to the channel, it'll say, um, you can name this whatever you want. Obviously, you probably by now already know how to work with Twitch.tv. Um, now there are other ways to live stream to Twitch.tv, but I find this one the most easiest. There's one that involves you using Manicam, and I don't like Manicam. So, anyways, this is the most easiest. Um, right here it'll say offline. That's because you're not online yet. Okay. And then right here, right here in the side, um, right here on the side, um, you can chat with your people. You probably already know that. Um, unless you have Twitch Turbo, you'll have these ads pop up. Um, when you first go into it, so I'm gonna pause it here when it on done when it's done. Alright, so when that commercial goes away, you're gonna see again this thing that says offline, and then your picture. Now the way you live stream is, you go into well no, you go into XSplit, you go to where it says broadcast, you go to where it says broadcast, and then click on Justin.tv slash Twitch, and then it'll say your username. It'll say in initializing live stream requiring stream configuration, and then it'll say explicit broadcaster streaming. This will pop up. I pretty always ignore it. Um, and then if you go back into Twitch.tv, my live stream is live. So simple, just like that. And then this will always be a little bit behind from this, but the audio and stuff it'll always be the same, as far as I know. See that like right here? If I switch to that. Let's give it a moment. It'll switch on here. Same thing. See right there. And same thing if I switch to this. So yeah, that's how you live stream to Twitch.tv. Hope um um you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. <laughs> um, hope this tutorial helped. Um, in a way. So yeah, that's how you live stream. That's what what I used to live stream. There's other ways. Um, like I said, I find this the easiest. Um, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.